Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing turtle graphics, right? Almost we have done all the basics of turtle graphics, right? With three or four coding exercises. Now one more coding exercise you'll see in this video and this would be, I think the last video of the, this concept turtle graphics, right? Okay, now what you have to draw, let me just show you first. So this is the thing we want, see. I hope you can see now these dots, tiny dots, circle type. It's not circle actually, but these are dots. So having different different colors and randomly the uh, turtle is moving in any direction, I don't know, anywhere and it's just painting something like this, like putting the dot to that position, randomly, anywhere, with random colors, right? So this thing you need to draw. For that obviously you need to uh, refer the python documentation because let me just tell you to draw these dots these dots you can say filled circle small circle there is a proper method here that is dot dot right so you go to python documentation and check out what is that dot method and how to use that right what you have to do now the colors how to choose randomly first I hope you have heard uh, that Hearst painting about this thing. Let me just show you. There is one artist, Damien Hearst. And if you search in Google like Hearst dot painting, then you will see many paintings here. Right? So actually there is a proper website, artsy.net there. These paintings are all, you can, you can actually uh, buy these paintings. So you can just save any image in dot jpg and you can extract colors from these pictures that thing we have discussed in previous video how to extract rgb values from the image using color gram package right so extract these colors and then use these colors for your this project for your this exercise right so this kind of thing we are going to draw like randomly anywhere obviously not exactly something like this but yeah we will try to draw something like this only <laughs> see for this painting the price is this one this much us dollars pause the video and now try this out so i hope you have done this so let's create a new file in the turtle project named like dot underscore painting dot py will import in this case turtle class on screen class and let's create a turtle just name of the turtle then name of the class and let's create a screen also a screen object without creating screen object also you can uh, you know do this but if you want to check out the screen size that also will i'll show you in this video and at last obviously you have to do to hold the screen so don't exit on click right now if you want to check out the screen size then we have a method screen size okay you can just print this print screen size and see the screen size is 400 300 400 by 300 right okay now how to draw the dot see i have told you in python documentation we have like a this dot method total dot dot so you have to give size and the color if you want to give you can just give the color also right total dot dot right just give the size of that dot right color also you can give that is also fine but we will not give the color we just give the size so tom dot dot and just give the size to 20 right now let's run this on the screen you will get one dot that is in black color by default right now i want to move the tom to any location randomly if you want to move then we have one method go to or set position these kind of thing okay this thing i have shown you in previous videos so you can give to the uh, the x and y coordinate so if i give like 100 100 now let's run this and see after this to creating this dot now our turtle is th at this location because this location is 0 0 so 100 to x axis 100 to y axis so here here we have 100 100 so now here also i want to draw a dot then again i want to move my 
this turtle to any other location and there also a dot then other location then there also a dot but these dots are also colorful so randomly i want to move the turtle at any position i don't want to give any specific x and y coordinate for that also we have something random function from random right okay so rather than giving the specific value what we can do here we just use random dot from random module random function and the range let's suppose give 0 to uh, 300 or let's suppose we'll give 0 to 100 only right for y coordinate also same thing random dot rand int and same let's give 0 to 100 right and then again tom dot dot or and any that size of the store is 20. So see randomly it has chosen this coordinate and again dot. But now this, these two lines should be go to any specific position and draw the dot. These two lines should be in a loop right. So let's just remove this line. Just move the circle randomly anywhere and draw the dot or first draw the dot and then move the circle move this turtle to anywhere right. You can either write down this line first or this line first. It's up to you. But these two lines should be in, in a loop. So for let's suppose in a range of uh, first let's suppose let's take a small range 110 uh, only. These should be indented right. Let's run this. See these dots are here right. But okay now we are moving here this side only this side only we are not moving the turtle is not moving to uh, the, the, the that side let me just show you to this side because this side is minus side and we are only generating plus values 0 to 100 0 to 100 so to this side also i want to move this turtle so better to give minus 100 let's give minus 100 minus 100 see you can just test the values any values you can give it's not like that you have to give minus 100 100 50 100 400 300 any values you can give and you can you can just check out let's run this now see now in both the sides turtle is moving minus plus side right but now you have to extract colors from the image and you have to use but extraction we have used we have done in previous video right so this is my extraction list I have extracted from jk.jpg many colors right and I'm going to just copy paste this color list. So this is the color list I have so randomly from this list I'm going to choose now okay. So let's choose the color first tom dot pen color pen color should be randomly from this list just provide the RGB values so random dot choice and for, from this color list choose any tuple any tuple rgb tuple or either this this or this right and then that color would be generated this thing also we have seen the pen color how to use pen color and all okay fine let's run this okay see see now the error is bad color sequence 164 150 253 these are bad color sequence because because I have told you you have to set the color mode first. So the turtle dot color mode and the color mode should be on turtle. It's not on the turtle object. It's not on tome. It's turtle. Turtle dot color mode. It should be 255. Because if you check, if you check the, the, the this uh, pen color. If you check this pen color from this documentation see now you can we can give uh, any set pen color to the RGB color represented by the tuple RGB RGB and this RGB must be in the range of 0 to color mode and the color mode can be either one obviously if you take a zero color mode from 0 to 0 color will be black so either 1 or 255 generally we take 255 to just take the complete integer value like 0 1 2 3 4 up to 255 if you take 
color mode 1, then it would be in decimal or float value or decimal value, right? So that is why it's compulsory to set the color mode first to use these type of color sequence. Let's run this and see now. This time, any random color from this. Here also we have some colors, but th that are not exactly visible, right? These are dark colors and these are light colors. So obviously we don't want to draw a small painting. We want a large painting because that would be more expensive. So let's repeat it till 100. Okay, let's run this. So this kind of painting you will get, but this is in this area only because we have set these xy coordinate to minus 100 to minus uh, plus 100. So if you set to 200, 2 plus 200 or 300 also you can set. Let's set 300, 300 and this also 300, 300. Right, because the size is 400 by 300 screen size. And obviously you don't want to draw that lines. So first, before drawing this thing, at first only let's do, before here only let's do pen up. Just do pen up, that's it. No need to do pen down here. And let's just increase the speed to the turtle, speed of the turtle to fastest 10. Let's run this. See. Now, I hope now you got how to draw that, that this type of painting. That would be really expensive. You can sell your painting also. Okay, now this kind of thing, you can play around with this thing and you can just draw your painting. It's up to you. If you want your painting to be more dense than range, should be let's take 300 and let's run this so the, these numbering you can do like you can change according to yourself right so like this there are many paintings of her like her painting you can just draw one painting exactly if you want to draw right so this is how we can do this thing i hope you got this exercise Right? The screen size, how to set screen size. If you want to set this screen size, by default it's this 400 by 300. You can set by this thing. Same same method you, you need to use. S1 dot screen size. S1 dot screen size and there you can give what screen size you want to set. 500, 500 you want to set. That is also fine you can set. You now I have set the screen size to this and again I am printing the screen size. So let's run this. See first screen size was 400, 300 and now 500, 500. Right? Like this you can play around, play with this code and you can draw different different paintings. Right? So I hope you got this. Now I will see you in the next video. Till then bye bye. Take care.